um, I'm Brooke Lewis, and this is my fiance. Jimmy Seamers, hi. <laughs> How's it I'm going, guys? 29 years old, he's 30, and um, we live in Long Beach, California. We're both originally from Northern California, and our wedding is in Lake Arrowhead, California, at Pine Rose Cabins in the mountains. Which is a little bit different, we know. Um, we originally, through doing all the like researching and stuff, we wanted to do a beach wedding uh, because our wedding is actually themed around kind of a piratey theme. And, uh, you know, what's funny is we always tell, tell people, like, they're like, oh, what kind of a wedding are you doing? And we're like, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're having a pirate wedding, you know? <laughs> and they're all like, pirate wedding? Um, what, like, you mean, like, parrots and, like, like our matey People shipper. think they can dress up like pirates you know? at our wedding. I will kill everybody. And it's not that. that we are dressing up like pirates in, in the essence. We want to step into what we like to kind of, like, the way we, uh, we talk about it is we're, we're kind of stepping into pirate times. So it's going to make sense. Uh, you know, we love the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, all of them. And, and uh, the ride and at my, the ride at Disneyland, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, is my number one favorite ride in the whole wide world. It's so uh, fun inside. I love skulls. I love crossbones. Skull I know crossbones, that's not a wedding thing, but I still really, really love, love it. it. I love the all the characters inside of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, actually. And um, I really, really, really love the Blue Bayou restaurant inside of the ride at yeah. Disneyland. So what we were thinking for our pirate-themed wedding is that. more like you're at the Blue Bayou restaurant. Of course, not at Disneyland and, of course, on a larger scale, but with, like, lanterns and candles but and candles. But even cooler than that. Yeah, much cooler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> um, we met about <laughs> five years ago in Northern California through mutual friends. Um, our two friends, his friend and my gr best girlfriend introduced us. So yeah, we've been together for three years, friends dating or friends <clears throat> attracted to each other friends for about five. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now I'm going to show you everything that we've planned for our wedding. This is the website of the wedding venue. Here's a picture of the aisle right here. This is a what the guests see when they walk in before they arrive at the reception area and the ceremony area. It's all connected. This is the ceremony area here. Another version of that. Beautiful photo. This is somebody's wedding, the reception, the ceremony again. Something they did, hanging candles, I consider doing. A view of the sweetheart table. This is looking off of the cabin that you get with the, with the venue into the ceremony area. This is the reception area. To this direction is the dance floor, and over here farther is the ceremony area. What you're seeing now is my dress front, and this is the back of my dress. This is what my bridesmaids are going to wear. This is my maid of honor, one of them, Brandy, and my two nieces, Sierra and Asia. This is my groom in his tux, it's chocolate brown with the ivory vest and tie. And this is the groomsmen's tux, and they're going to still have the chocolate brown with the darker tie and vest. Okay, time to show you what Jimmy and I have done and what we've made for our wedding. First of all, I'm going to show you our invitations. We dyed them in coffee and we burned the edges and we're going to roll them up and stick them in a message in a bottle and send them like that. Here we have our treasure chest centerpieces that were really meaningful to us. And we took the time to put them all together. We have these gold rocks that we've spray painted inside. They make it look like gold and they take up a lot of room so we don't have to buy too much jewelry. Um, in order to save money on the pearls accessories, we decided to buy um, these Mardi Gras beads and spray paint them a pearl color, but we'll keep some of them gold. And um, we have the spray painted candle holders, the votives. I also decided to get this netting. We're going to put it up behind us and along the venue all over everywhere to make it have a little bit of a piratey feel. Um, here's some of our treasure chest favors that are going to go to our guests. We're giving them chocolate, chocolate inside, and um, it's going to have a bottle of rum in there. I made handmade hair accessories. That's something I do on the side. I started a little business. I made one for myself here and one for the bridesmaids. We have 11 bridesmaids and 11 groomsmen. Three of the bridesmaids are maids of honor, and three of the groomsmen are best men. And Because Jimmy and I have a lot of friends, and we have a lot of love in our life. Um, really love these people. 
we can't afford to have flowers at the wedding, so the day before the wedding, I'm going to go to the grocery store and get some flowers and make my bouquet and my bridesmaid's bouquet. But here's a mock-up version of what's going to be mine. And it has some trinkets here, some jewels, and a little cameo, something that's very special to me. I kind of like this bouquet. I might keep it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, things that are concerns of mine is our catering. We have Greek food, which is great, but all we can afford is a platter per table of chicken skewers, rice, salad, hummus, pita, and a few appetizers that are vegetarian. Um, Another big huge concern of ours is that we don't have a DJ. We can't find any of our friends to commit to us, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to use an iPod and have to find somebody to control it. But at least we can have all of the songs that we want at our wedding. Uh, we don't have any money for a bar or bartenders, so our friends are going to be bartending our wedding. We're buying liquor from Costco, and they're going to give us a table at our venue to set up on and use for the bar. I'm a little worried about that. I hope it goes well, but you never know. Um, a huge concern of mine is the fact that we get the venue for at 1 p.m. and our wedding is at 4 o'clock and so in those three hours I have to figure out how to get the entire place set up with all the Christmas lights and decorations that we plan on putting up and using our friends and having them help us because that's the only option that we have and I won't even be able to be there to make sure things go well because I'll be getting ready so I'm really super super nervous about having everybody decorate within just like two and a half hours and then the guests will be arriving too so who knows if that's even going to go well. Um, my really good friend is making our wedding cake, and she's not very good at making the cakes taste good, is what she tells me, but she's really good at the decorations of it, and it it look, they look pretty, so it's kind of sad. It's to help save money, but cakes are my very favorite thing in the whole world. I've always loved wedding cakes. I love fondant. I'm probably the only one in the world that loves fondant. My dream cake would be a pirate ship, a giant pirate ship with a treasure chest and all the things you could find um, from the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, something really special with my fiance and I doing a little sword fight on the top, something really exciting and fun. As a surprise to my groom, I'm having custom bobbleheads made for us. He will be dressed like a pirate and we will be sword fighting. It's going to go on the top of our cake, but the custom wet shop hasn't finished making them yet, so I can't show you what they look like, but I will as soon as the proofs come in. If we had more money, I would definitely bump up the decorations. I would have, of course, more time and then maybe a giant crew there to help me decorate the place. That would really, really help. Um, I would love to change the catering and make it really special, really interesting food, something unique that more goes with our piratey theme, something maybe our guests would really enjoy. I love to take care of our friends. We would really love to bump up the bar, make it more exciting, make the, the bar setup look really neat because my fiance is a bartender, so that's something that's really important to us to have it look really good. Um, my dad passed away a couple years ago, so I, no matter what, the wedding's going to have a down a sadness to it because he won't be there. Um, I want to find a way to really celebrate my dad and make him a part of the wedding because he can't be there. But um, and my brothers are walking down the aisle, which is very special, actually. Um, but a great thing is that my mom gave me um, their first engagement ring here, and. Um, that was my mom's first engagement ring for my dad because they upgraded later. So it's really special to me that I have this engagement ring as our engagement ring. We're just having trouble finding a great wedding band to go with it that will be live up to the significance and meaning that this ring has. We found a $500 one. It's okay, but it's nothing too, too special. Uh, for Jimmy's ring, we have a Tunson ring that we got for him at a bridal show for free. It was a free gift, but at least it's a ring. But at the moment, we're just using that as his free gifts. Um, if I could have, if we could have our way, we would have his grandma there, Jimmy's grandma. She lives just 30 miles away from the venue, and that's kind of why we chose the area. But um, because of her physical ailments, it's hard for her to get out, and so the family is saying that it's too hard to get her there. So it would really mean a lot to Jimmy and I if we could figure out some way of getting her there. Um, the most important thing to me in this wedding is that everybody has a really good time. That Jimmy and I are fun people. We like to laugh. We like to have a good time and dance and drink and just spread the love that we have with each other to everybody that we know. So it would be really nice if our love and our reflection of our fun personalities could really, really be put out in this wedding and go as well as I hope it would go. So I just want to say, David, I love your work. I think you're fantastic. Of course, I watch your show constantly. But um, it would be an honor for us if you were able to plan our wedding. It would be more special than anything ever. And I know you could do a fabulous job. So please help me. We've done so much work, and we don't mind doing the work at all. But I know that with your help, we can make this wedding 10,000 times better than what it already will be. Thank you. Bye.